Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about logical instruction. It is one of the types of data manipulation instruction. So under this logical instruction, we have several instructions. So let us see one by one. First one is complement instruction. What is complement instruction? So this complement instruction will complement the given data. So whichever the data you are fetching either from the register or from the memory and you want to proceed this complement instruction on the given data, then your result will be the complemented information. That means if the data which is nothing but already all containing zero, then your uh, result will be all will be complemented. So that is nothing but all one. Already your data is nothing but one zero one one zero one means then after performing this complement operation on this given data, then your result is 0010. This is how complementation has been done. If it is 0, then it will be complemented means it is 1. It will become 1. If it is 1, then it will become 0. This is nothing but complementation. And in the computer, this complementation can be done with the help of the XOR operation. Let us see how it will perform. For example, if your given input is 1101, and if you are um, XR, doing XOR operation with all 1 as the second data. So what happens here? XR means if both are same, then your result is 0. If both are different, then the result is 1. So here if both are same, then your result will be 0. If both are different, then it will be 1. Same means 0. 1, 1, 0. So this is actually the XR operation, which is nothing but the complementation of the complementation of the first data. This is how the complementation has been done in the computer. Next instruction is clear instruction. Clear means it will clear the entire set of data. Suppose if you want to clear the register R1, clear register R1, your register will hold the data as 1101. So what happens there? After performing, after executing this clear instruction, result will be 0000. So whatever the data it has already, uh, it doesn't matter so it will clear the entire set of data so it will become all zero so that is what clear instruction so next two instruction is logical and and logical or instruction so both the instructions are very much important in order to perform the data manipulations logical and means so it will end the two sets of data for example if you have two binary values 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so what is the result of AND operation? 0, 0 means it is 0, 0, 1 means 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, it is 1. And if you are performing OR operation, 0, 0 means it is 0, 0, 1 means it is 1, 1, 0 means 1, 1, 1, it is 1. So this is actually the result of logical AND logical OR instruction. So when these two instructions will be used, at what situation we are actually using this logical AND and logical OR instruction. Suppose if you want to have the result as all 0, for example, if you have such kind of uh, input 1101, now you want to make this some part of your input data as 0, not the entirely, some part of the input data as 0. So if you are performing uh, 0, and operation with this uh, uh, some first two bits obviously you will be getting the result as 0 0 so you can change your result as 0 0 by performing AND operation um, with your second data as 0 0 so if you perform AND operation with these two uh, data bits then obviously you will be getting 0 so if you want to clear some part of your result as 0 then you can perform AND operation now if you want to set some part of the data then you need to perform OR operation then in that case you have to use the second data as 1. For example if you are taking the same input 0 1 so now you want to um, make it make all the 4 bits as 1. So what happens here if you uh, uh, perform OR operation with the second data as all 1 then obviously you will be getting the result as all 1. So this is, this is how uh, logical AND and logical OR uh, instruction can be used in many places. Uh, for example, in networking and subnet masking, so uh, such kind of um, uh, technologies will use this uh, logical AND or logical OR operation. Uh, next one is XOR. So XOR operations obviously will be knowing the truth table for XOR operation. So if both are zero, sorry, if both input data is same means 
then you will be getting a zero. If both are different, then the result is one. So this is how XOR operation will be performed. The next one is clear carry. So clear carry means uh, carry obviously. Uh, you will be using the flip flop to hold the carry so if you add any two numbers if you get any of the carry that will be stored in the flip flop and that carry so if you want to clear that carry so whatever the result of that carry it doesn't matter so even if it is 1 or 0 so if you want to clear it clear that particular carry so it will clear the carry value clear means it will be 0 so initially the carry value is 1 or 0 so whatever it might be after executing this clear carry instruction so the carry value will become 0. Set, set carry means this instruction will set the value of this carry to 1. So whatever 0 or 1 so any kind of value it may hold. Uh, after executing this set carry instruction the carry value will become 1. So in what cases we can use the set carry instruction suppose if you are taking the uh, two's complement so what happens there uh, suppose if you are uh, using 0 0 1 0 so in that case if you are actually taking two's complement so initially you have to take one's complement 1 1 0 1 and adding 1 with that one's complement which is nothing but two's complement so this is the two's complement result of this given input so here adding one so always you should uh, use this one uh, as a input so which is which will be used used uh, or which will be stored in the carry so in that case you can use this instruction called set carry so always this, this carry bit will hold one it should not be zero at any cost so these kind of situation we can use this instruction that is set carry so next one is complement carry complement carry means so what about the carry value so that will be complemented suppose your carry value is zero means that will be complemented to one if the value is one means that will be complemented to zero so this is how complementing the carry operation can take place by using this instruction next two instruction is enabling the interrupt and disabling the interrupt so how we are enabling the interrupt again you need to use the flag concept in order to enable or disable the interrupt so when we will be getting this interrupt concept suppose if you are doing some computation so in the middle of the computation if you get any external signal uh, in uh, um, abruptly so that is suddenly your uh, uh, sequence of execution will be stopped and it has to respond to the interrupts or whatever it occurs in the system so in order to uh, execute that interrupt so we need to use that flag to set so if you are setting that flag bit then it uh, it can be understandable that enabling the interrupt the computer has to execute the interrupt program and if you are clearing that flag bit automatically your interrupt will be disabled so computer will not respond to the interrupt otherwise if it completes the interrupt program then automatically this flag bit will uh, value will be clear to zero uh, telling that uh, it is the interrupt program has been completed so it is just disabling the interrupt otherwise if you don't have any interrupts in the system currently then that particular flag bit value will be clear to zero uh, which means that what disabling the interrupt so that at present there are no interrupts otherwise all the interrupt programs has been completed so um, these are all some of the logical instructions so these logical instruction mainly used to perform the data uh, manipulations uh, uh, particularly the logical operations can be done on the given data uh, next we will discuss about the shift instruction thank you